What are early symptoms of prostate cancer? Prostate cancer is a serious disease that affects thousands of men each year who are middle-aged or older. Most prostate cancers occur in men older than age 65. Prostate cancer affects the prostate gland, the gland that produces some of the fluid in semen and plays a role in urine control in men. Only men have a prostate, which is a walnut-sized gland located directly under the bladder in front of the rectum. In the United States, it is the most common cancer in men but it is also treatable if found in the early stages. Prostate cancer occurs when abnormal cells develop in the prostate. These abnormal cells can continue to multiply in an uncontrolled way and sometimes spread outside the prostate into nearby or distant parts of the body. Men with early prostate cancer may not have any symptoms, as these only occur when the cancer is large enough to put pressure on the urethra. These problems are common in older men and not always symptoms or signs of cancer. The prostate can also become enlarged due to a condition called benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is non-cancerous. Types of prostate cancer Nearly all cases of prostate cancer are considered adenocarcinomas, with only an estimated 1-5% to comprising all other types. While treatment options and presentation of prostate adenocarcinomas are frequently studied, less is known about the remaining types of prostate cancers. These additional, rare prostate cancers include prostate sarcomas, neuroendocrine tumors, small cell carcinomas, transitional cell carcinomas, and squamous cell carcinomas. Some prostate cancers can grow and spread quickly, but most grow slowly. In fact, Autopsy studies show that many older men, and even some younger men, who died of other causes also had prostate cancer that never affected them during their lives. In many cases neither they nor their doctors even knew they had it. Here are some common prostate cancer symptoms you should know about. Difficulty passing urine. It might be harder to empty your bladder than normal. This is called urinary hesitancy. It might be difficult to start emptying your bladder or the flow might be weaker. You might be straining to pass urine. Or it might stop and start when you do go. Frequent urge to urinate. A variety of medical conditions can cause nocturia. Common causes of nocturia are prostate cancer. Infection or enlargement of the prostate of gland causes frequent urge to urination throughout the day and night. In other cases drinking too much fluid during the evening can cause you to urinate more often during the night. Caffeine and alcohol after dinner can also lead to this problem. Blood in semen. Blood in the semen is known as hematospermia. Prostate biopsy is the most common cause of blood in the semen. But it is also a very first and alarming sign of prostate cancer. Blood in the semen can be caused by tumors, infections, anatomical abnormalities, stones, or inflammation in many sites throughout the genitourinary system. Leg swelling. Advanced cancer begins to crowd out other healthy cells in your body when it grows. Tumors can press on areas like your spinal cord and cause pain, tingling, or swelling in your legs and feet. Leaking urine. You might find that you leak a little after passing urine. This is due to the swelling of the prostate. The common signs of prostate cancer are leaking urine at night, and also having nerve damage are just some of the other possible underlying causes of urinary incontinence in men. Weak urine stream. The most common cause of urinary hesitancy in older men is an enlarged prostate. Almost all older men have some trouble with dribbling, weak urine stream, and starting urination. But another common cause is prostate cancer. When prostate gland swells you can find it difficult to pass urine easily that's why stream of urine become weak. Prostate cancer shares many similar symptoms with benign diseases of the prostate. The earliest prostate cancer symptoms are often urinary. Urination that burns. This condition is the inflammation of the prostate gland. It's a primary cause of urinary burning, stinging, and discomfort. You may also experience pain when urinating if you have prostate cancer in your prostate gland. Soreness in the groin. When prostate cancer spreads, it's common for cancer cells to go to your lymph nodes and then move to more areas of your body. This is the same for other forms of cancer, 
The lymph nodes are a network of glands that help your body filter fluids and fight infections. There are several lymph nodes in your groin. These are the ones closest to your prostate, so it's common for the cancer to spread to them first. Cancer cells prevent your lymph nodes from draining fluid and working properly. When this happens, your lymph nodes swell. As a result, you might experience pain or soreness in the area. Back Pain Pain from prostate cancer often appears in the back. Cancer that has spread to the bones of the back may cause the pain, or the pain may appear in the back without the spread of the cancer. Treatment for prostate cancer can help reduce the pain. Back pain can be a sign of both cancer spreading to your bones or the beginning of pressure on your spinal cord. Spinal cord compression happens when cancer is pushing so hard against the spinal cord that the nerves can no longer work properly. This requires medical treatment, and your cancer team might talk to you about a plan ahead of time. Blood in the urine. In most cases, blood in the urine, called hematuria, is the first sign of prostate cancer. Blood in the urine does not always mean you have cancer. More often it is caused by other things like an infection, benign, non-cancerous, tumors, stones in the kidney or bladder, or other benign kidney diseases. Pain in hips. Advanced prostate cancer related pain in the hips is often described as a dull, deep pain, similar to a toothache, and is much different than most other pain that comes after overuse or general soreness. Back pain from prostate cancer can occur if the cancer has spread to the bones of the back. It's also possible for cancer to cause pain in a part of the body other than the actual site of the disease. That kind of pain is called referred pain. Once prostate cancer spreads, it can cause pain in and around the area of the prostate gland. Men with the disease can also experience pain in other areas. Impotence The prostate gland plays a key role in the male reproductive system, so it's not surprising that prostate cancer can cause dysfunction. Men may have problems getting or maintaining an erection, or experience painful ejaculation. Because of changes in hormone levels, dysfunction becomes more common with age. Still, you shouldn't brush off ed or other symptoms as a result of aging. Tests can help determine whether your symptoms are cancerous or not. Unexplained weight loss. Losing weight without eating less or actively trying to lose weight is a general sign of advanced cancer. This could be combined with some of the other signs above. Loss of appetite or interest in eating is also a sign cancer has spread to other areas of your body, like your liver. What are the risk factors? A risk factor is anything that affects your chance of getting a disease such as cancer. Different cancers have different risk factors. Some risk factors, like smoking, can be changed. Others, like a person's age or family history, can't be changed. But having a risk factor, or even several, does not mean that you will get the disease. Many people with one or more risk factors never get cancer, while others who get cancer may have had few or no known risk factors. Researchers have found several factors that might affect a man's risk of getting prostate cancer. Age Prostate cancer is an age-dependent disease, which means the chance of developing it increases with age. The risk of getting prostate cancer by the age of 75 is 1 in 7 men. By the age of 85, this increases to 1 in 5. Race, Ethnicity Prostate cancer occurs more often in African American men and in Caribbean men of African ancestry than in men of other races. African American men are also more than twice as likely to die of prostate cancer as white men. Prostate cancer occurs less often in Asian American and Hispanic, Latino men than in non-Hispanic whites. The reasons for these racial and ethnic differences are not clear. Family History If you have a first-degree male relative with prostate cancer, you have a higher chance of developing it than men with no such history. The risk increases again if more than one male relative has prostate cancer. Risks are also higher for men whose male relatives were diagnosed when young. Geography Prostate cancer is most common in North America, Northwestern Europe, Australia, and on Caribbean islands. It is less common in Asia, Africa, Central America, and South America. The reasons for this are not clear. 
more intensive screening in some developed countries probably accounts for at least part of this difference, but other factors such as lifestyle differences, diet, etc., are likely to be important as well. For example, Asian Americans have a lower risk of prostate cancer than white Americans, but their risk is higher than that of men of similar backgrounds living in Asia. When to see a doctor. Make an appointment with your doctor if you have any signs or symptoms that worry you. There is debate regarding the risks and benefits of screening for prostate cancer, and medical organizations differ on their recommendations. Discuss prostate cancer screening with your doctor. Together, you can decide what's best for you. For any question please comment below, join us on Health Space for more update.